and welcome back to WCCF Tech TV. This is Keith once again, and let's talk about RX Vega mining and pricing, as well as what is going on right now. First off, while we reported on the rumor that the Radeon RX Vega cards reportedly mining at 75 to 100 mega hashes, I did state that my personal belief that the RX Vega cards would only mine slightly better than the R9 Fury X cards. And boy, am I happy I was right. Turns out, thanks to Anthony at Tweaktown and Nathan at Legit Reviews, we now know definitively that the Radeon RX Vega 56 and 64 mi are mining at roughly tuned GTX 1070 levels when it comes to Ethereum mining, albeit with way higher power consumption to do so. This is good for gamers, meaning the RX Vega will unlikely be a target for people still buying GPUs to mine, because believe it or not, there's still money to be made for it by the patient people who are left in the game. All of that to say it should be going mostly to people who actually want to game and the price should stay fairly consistent, right? So where's the stock and what's up with the pricing? Well, that part isn't quite clear. Obviously, with a largely anticipated launch like Vega, after people have been waiting for quite a while, just as expected, it sold out rather quickly, despite claims that they would be delayed to ensure quantities. So when the first batch sold out, prices jumped because of good old supply and demand function. Or did it? And it doesn't seem like miners are to blame because of the information mentioned at the beginning of the video. According to information from Overclock3D.net, who obtained the quote from Overclockers.uk. Now comes the good and bad news. The good news is AMD are rebating early launch sales to allow us to hit the £449.99 on the standalone black card which has no games. This is a launch only price which AMD at present are saying will be withdrawn in the near future. When it happens is unknown, but remember do not be shocked if the price jumps nearly £100 in a few days. This time round. There's no early adopter tax, quite the opposite on the standalone black card, so do be quick. Of course, links to the sources are below in the description, or above if you're on Facebook, and I urge you to read to them further. But it appears that once the initial round of Vega GPUs sold out, we may not see that eagerly touted launch price for very long, and it looks that the final resting price may end up being around $100 or pounds higher than originally anticipated and announced. Now OC3D has reached out to AMD but at the time of this recording had gotten no official response. So do you blame miners or do you blame AMD on this one? Was it a way to hedge off miners? Mm, not really sure with what's going on here with this one but it's worth keeping an ear to the ground on this one so keep it locked here to WCCF Tech TV. This has been Keith and we'd love to hear your thoughts on this one and we'll see you all in the next video.